Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how XLOOKUP can replace the need to use index and match. So at the top part of the screen, I've got a table which is called data. And you can see there, I've got an intersection set up with a red selection, which is basically whatever the index and match returns. So if I select a month, February, for example, it jumps up to show me that. If I select a an activity, press ups, it selects that. So the conditional formatting is basically highlighting that. Now there is a new feature on the view tab called focus, which basically will just highlight wherever you are with your cursor, but it will not do what that is doing, what conditional formatting is doing. So I'll just take that off. Now, if I click into this cell, what you've got there is an example of the index and match function working together to create this and tell me the answer of the number of minutes on that particular exercise in that month. So you can see how I've done that. Basically what I did was I did the match function for months, which comes back with a number because the match function basically returns a position of an item in a list so it's coming up with two for february i basically called that cell month and this list months so that's where that is coming thing so match the month with the list called months and get an exact match and it's coming back with position two so february is in position two this one is looking at the activity which is this list and doing exactly the same so basically it's looking at activity which in this case says press ups looking at exercise which is this all the way across i've called it exercise i highlight it exercise and tell me what position that is an exact match two now each of these cells are named as the color suggests green and red so the index function, which needs a data set, which is this area in the middle, is called data. And it's then looking at the coordinates, green and then red. So if I change the month to so something slightly different, well for May, so five. So this is looking at row five and column two, green and red. That's what the index function is doing. Now, if I did it all together without doing the separate steps, it would look like that. It's quite a long function. It's probably tidier to do it like that, and then you can see that working fine. So XLOOKUP is replacing the need to use those two functions. But as you can see from the formula down here, it is still quite a long-winded process. So if I just get myself over here and colour that so you can see where I am, and do the X lookup to see if I can achieve the same thing. So equals XL comes up, press tab to get the function and open the bracket. So first of all, I want to look at the month. So that is up there. So I'll put month in there, comma. And that comes from the list of months, which is that, comma. Now, instead of the return array, I'm going to do another XLOOKUP there. So XL again, pressing tab to get the bracket and the function in there. Now I'm going to look at the activity, press ups as it is at the moment, comma, and then the exercise options, this across the top, all the way across, comma. And now I'm going to enter the data as the area, which is the area in the middle data closing that x lookup bracket and then closing the first x lookup bracket and then clicking the tick i get 34 which is the same as that 34 that also is showing 34 so instead of using index and match which would look like that you can just use one function the X look up, but you're using two of them if you like. So it's totally up to you how you do it, whether you use index and match. I don't think X look up has actually replaced it. You can still achieve with index and match 
But obviously, the next lookup is a new baby on the block, if you like, in terms of lookups. If you're interested in how I've done the conditional formatting, basically, those are the formulas on the right there that is, are in the conditional formatting. If I just go into it, home, conditional formatting, manage rules. You would have to put them in there. So if I just highlight that, initial formatting, manage rules, there they are. So it's just these, and then it will do what I've got on the screen. So the intersection will be colored orange, and then the actual cell you're in is red. That's why that's first. Click OK to that, and there you go. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use the XLOOKUP to replace index and match or complement index and match. So hopefully that's of use and highlighted that feature. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you on the next one.